Now, the CBS3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Arctic air is coming to call once again. So yesterday, cloudier, a little snowier for some towns. Now turn about fair play. Arctic air coming in from the northwest means a wind chill advisory overnight tonight for inland parts of Minnesota. Twin Ports, North Shore, you're probably off the hook. Same deal for folks in Carleton and Pine counties, but otherwise, yeah, if you're a Minnesotan, uh, feels like temperatures will be at least in the 30 below range, while actual air temps could be down towards 20 below. Not quite as cold for Wisconsin and the Upper Peninsula. In fact, a little chance for light snow could still cling to folks there, especially along the snow belt through tomorrow before a new low pressure system brings a chance for light snow to everybody come Saturday night and Sunday. We'll show you the latest estimates on that coming up in just a little bit as well. But we will show you what's happening right now current condition wise at Duluth Airport. It's only four above so the colder air is already coming. Skies, well, started off on the sunny side this morning, then became cloudy. As we go through the night, the high pressure advancing will thin out the clouds once again. Northwest wind, it's going 12 miles per hour, 55% for the relative humidity. And taking a look at what's happening as far as the Doppler map goes, well, a couple of light snow showers are still trying to creep in from yesterday's system at the same time that that higher pressure comes in from the northwest. But this will mostly primarily affect northern Wisconsin and the UP tonight. Again, Minnesotans will clear and cool perhaps more rapidly than the rest of the region, which then sets us up for a fairly chilly day here on Saturday. Again, Minnesota low temps could go 10 to 20 below tomorrow, and Wisconsin-Michigan low temps, so about 5 below to 5 above there. Maybe even 10 above if you push it closer to the lake but fairly chilly even for January standards. Not bitterly cold, but uh, brisk, invigorating. Yeah, we'll put a polite term on it. Again, things will change up a little bit as Saturday goes on. The higher pressure will already start to retreat and lower pressure from the west will advance. And once we get into Sunday, even late Saturday night, our next snow chance comes aboard. But right now it looks to be just a 30 to 50% snow chance here. And with a little lake aggravation added in, if any accumulations happen, it likely will be closer to the shores of Lake Superior, where folks could get one to three inches by about five o'clock on Sunday. The rest of the region, perhaps only a trace to an inch. So not a huge deal this time. Come Tuesday, maybe a slightly bigger deal, at least for a wider part of the region. Forecast tonight in Minnesota, there's those low temps as cold as even 25 below by International Falls, as warm as zero by the lake. For Wisconsin and Michigan, low temps there could be as cool as eight below in Superior to as warm as five above over towards Ironwood and Besmer and Hurley, Wisconsin. Uh, clearing to the west, but flurries could linger to the east in the snow belt, like I mentioned. For tomorrow, Wisconsin, Michigan, high temps 15 to 18. That's a little cooler than normal. And in Minnesota, with sunshine, highs anywhere from 3 inland to 15 by the lake. That's cooler than normal. The extended forecast shows it won't stay that chilly forever. No, we get the sunshine for some towns on Saturday, but again, keep in mind, 30% chance for light snow Sunday could lead to a 60% chance for another one to three, two to four inches worth of snow for everybody come Tuesday, which in turn also, my friends, gives way to another Arctic outbreak with low temps near 15 below by the end of next week. Mm. Yeah. Tomorrow looks like a good day to stay in and watch football. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> Plenty of it going on. Yeah, thanks, Dave. Well, you know where else?